Kevin, I'm I'm curious if you're aware of a series on Hulu called Pen 15 and that there's an entire episode dedicated to a sleepover where the kids get a smuggled copy of VHS copy of Wild Things and watch it. And I wondered what your reactions are kind of like what the legacy of that movie has become and how that was such like a key part for especially like adults, whatever, but also young kids, I think, discovering, you know, such a racy R-rated movie and watching it. Uh, well, first off, I love Pen15. I haven't see, actually seen that episode. Somebody um, turned me on to it, and I just have to go and search for it and, and watch it. I, I think Wild Things was, was interesting because when it came out, you know, it was hard to market it in the way that we really wanted to do, which was, which was that we weren't really taking it all that seriously. You know, the movie was a movie that was... A, a thriller with a lot of twists and turns, but it definitely had its 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 uh, tongue planted in its cheek. You know, um, it was over the top in in a lot of ways. But I, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. It has become. I've had a lot of. I would have to say mostly young men, even not that young anymore, tell me that 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 was you know one of the most mind blowing experiences of their youth <laughs> was watching was watching wild things and watching the threesome in wild things which, which by the way I was not in were you at all reluctant to do your own nude scene you didn't have to do the threesome but you did have to step out of the shower you know uh what's interesting about that is that um i don't know about you i don't tend to shower with a bathing suit on um so it just seemed to be sort of like the natural way to take a shower. Um, I wasn't really, I, I, it never occurred to me that, that uh, they were going to, you know, keep the, the full frontal in. And in fact, I was a producer on the film and had a, a nudity rider in my own contract. So when they, when um, director John McNaughton came to me and said, you know, listen, uh, in the in the current cut, you actually you know see something. Um, they had to they had to kind of clear it with me. Otherwise, I would have been in the position of having to sue myself uh, for. And so uh, uh, I said, "All right, well, you know how how is it?" He goes, "It's good." I said, "All right, you know, fine, just uh, I, was, I was just happy the water was hot and um, you know." <laughs> I just, it was uh i it didn't i it didn't really occur to me that it would um become that much of a story i guess i hadn't really thought about the fact that it's not that often that uh men are you know naked in 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 movies in in that way and what was really interesting is that just culturally as I did the, uh, I was doing a press junket for the for the movie, and you know you start with the American press, and I'm sure you've been to press junkets before. You get you know four minutes, and one one you know uh, uh, journalist after another comes in and st sticks their tape in, and you do a, a quick interview. I did um, you know probably 40, 50, 60 uh, U.S. interviews, and every single one of them asked me about the nude scene. And then it went to Europe, and they barely mentioned it. And I found that really kind of interesting that um, in America, uh, we have, we're, we're pretty, uh, I don't know, we're pretty pure in a lot of ways, or, or have uh, a different set of rules about that kind of stuff than Europe does.